One of the types of cancers that you talk about in the Dog Cancer Survival Guide are brain tumors. Uh, Dr. Dresser, I'll start with you first. If you have a dog who has a brain tumor, what are the likely signs and symptoms that you're looking at? Well, brain tumors most commonly will happen in more elderly dogs, uh, not every time. In my experience, some of the most common signs of brain tumors uh, would be seizure disorders. And a seizure, we all know what a seizure looks like, but a rapid muscle contractions. And many times if it's bad enough, uh, those can involve uh, all of the muscles in the body in a grand mal seizure. Now, there can be more subtle signs of a brain tumor though, and not all of these can be picked up at home. For example, something called anisocoria, uh, which are uh, uh, pupils that are not dilated, not as big on one side, one eye compared to the other eye. Sometimes there's a little drooping of the face, kind of a palsy, they call that. Uh, other times we can have odd behaviors at home, things like head pressing, which would be pushing uh, of your dog's head into the corner of the room or walking in circles or sometimes even uh, uh, behavioral changes where uh, we've got uh, more, more vocalness or all of a sudden a big change uh, in, in anxiety, increase in anxiety or these types of things. Uh, so there's a lot of different neurologic signs uh, that can all point to the brain. Dr. Ettinger, uh, what are your thoughts on brain tumors? Yeah, these can be hard to find early, I think, because it's really hard to pick up in subtle neurologic changes in our pets, just as Dr. Dressler was talking about. We know from people, sometimes they have headaches. Sometimes they have headaches in the morning that wear off, and those are things that we might not pick up in our pets because they don't tell us that their head hurts. They're pretty tolerant you know, um, four-legged four creatures. So they can be hard to pick up early. Um, typically the best way to figure out where it is once your pet, um, there's a suspicion that there's a brain tumor is usually there's gonna be some sort of advanced imaging of the head. Um, the best one, in my opinion, is an MRI. Um, CT scans may also be done depending on your location, but that's gonna give us an idea of where in the brain um, the tumor is and what treatment options are. Some are gonna be surgical um, and some radiation is gonna be the main form of treatment. And at our hospital, we're very lucky to have a unique type of radiation called the CyberKnife, which is a type of radio surgery where they don't need surgery, but the radiation does the, the job of surgery um, in one to three treatments. So, um, and in some patients, chemotherapy can be used as well if surgery and radiation are not an option. So there's a lot of different options out there um, once the diagnosis is made. And if you are looking at the CyberKnife, uh uh, as an option, there's a whole video in this series specifically on that unique uh, procedure. Dr. Dressler, what are your thoughts about uh, treating brain tumors? Well, brain tumors are tough, uh, even perhaps more so than other cancers. They don't rear their head, so to speak, until they're more fairly advanced. Um, with this, this is one of the few cancers where in human literature, we actually have some benefit to the use of homeopathy. Uh, there's a paper published, uh, which you can read about uh, in the dog cancer blog. Um, and uh, sometimes homeopathic management uh, can have some benefit, at least with, with gliomas. Uh, nutritional, you know, uh, attention is very important. Uh, we need to always try to give a, a healthy diet, a, and it's a diet that's different. It's, it's specifically for, for dogs that have cancer and the other types of supplemental support that we talk about, immune support, uh, as well as uh, maintaining as much as possible overall life quality and focusing on pain and making sure that uh, our, our loved pets aren't experiencing any pain. All of these are important features of full-spectrum care. There's a lot more information on brain tumors and what you can do if your dog has a brain tumor in the Dog Cancer Survival Guide. I want to thank both of you for joining us today. Dr. Ettinger in New York, Dr. Dressler in Hawaii, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.